Praise the Lord. Uh, welcome to this service from wherever you're watching us from, whatever time you're watching us from. Uh, this is Hope Church Loving Tottenham. We are excited and glad to worship with you uh, this time. By the way, did you know that the earth fits into the star a million times? And in there, in there is you. And God knows each and every person who is in this, who is in this tiny planet that fits into the earth a million times. Such an awesome, such a big God. The Bible says in Psalm 100, enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and praise his name. Then verse 5 says, for the Lord is good, his unfailing love continues and his faithfulness continues to each generation. Even as we go to a time of praise and worship, let us worship him with understanding because he's such a big and faithful God. Wherever you are, I want you to celebrate Jesus. Lift his name higher because he's worthy to be praised. Come on, come on. Get your dance on.
Thank you, Pastor Benjamin and uh, the worship team, for leading us in that amazing song that God is good. Buana ni muema. There's this verse in Psalm 103 that says, um, verse 3 says, he, uh, Let us praise the name of the Lord. May I not, never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins. He heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death. He satisfies me with great things. And that is our God who has been very faithful to us. And you and I can testify today. Indeed, that God is God is faithful. Even as we give, let us give with that understanding that God has been faithful. He has sustained us. He has been with us. Even through this difficult season, God is faithful. And the Bible reminds us that God loves a cheerful giver. So as we give, let us give joyfully, sacrificially, and obediently. There are platforms for giving are down on your screen. So feel free to give with whichever means you're comfortable with. Amen. Now let us get ready to hear God's word. And I will invite us to um, open the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. That is where our reading will come from. The Bible says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And that is the reading for today. That God, in the beginning, created the heavens and the earth. And the earth. Sometimes we go through uh, life and we go through difficult situations. And we are always tempted to ask the question, is God really there? Where is God in all this? Maybe it is a health issue, it is a financial issue, it is something to do, something to do with family. Very different issues and um, seasons that we go through in life that bring us to a point where we ask our, ourselves this question, does God really exist? This verse reminds us of something very interesting, that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. When you look around us, look around you, You'll see trees, you'll see rivers, you'll see lakes, you'll see people, you'll see buildings, you'll see everything. And when you see these things, they point us back to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, that in the beginning, God created heavens and the earth. They remind us of something very interesting, that God does exist, that God is real, that God is in control. And I have titled this psalm, God is in control. So whatever seasons or issues or circumstances we're going through in life, remember, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And so what does this verse mean for us, even as we go through life? Number one, it means, it means that God knows what we are going through. You know, God knows that you do not have a job. God knows that you are in that situation because it is him who created the heavens and the earth. And in the heavens and the earth, he created you as well. You know, one of the most complicated uh, things in the world is how the human being uh, lives and how the human being functions. It is one of the most complicated things. And this God created you with his hands. As simple, I mean, it was so easy and so simple for him. So remember, whatever you're going through, God knows what you're going through. Then God sees, you know, sometimes we go through issues and we ask ourselves, does God really see the situation? I mean, is God really there? I want to remind you today that God sees what you're going through. And when we make prayers to him, when you go to him and cry out and ask questions and ask him to intervene, remember that God also hears. But something very interesting that I want to finish with is that God is able. If God created a mountain, if God created the oceans, if God created the lakes and everything that we see around us, it means then that God is able to intervene and solve our situations. So what does that call us to do? That calls us for us to, to trust him and uh, trust the means that God is using. Trust the timing that God is working in our lives. Trust the process that God is taking us through. God is in control. It is God who created us 
God knows what you're going through. God hears, God sees, and God is able. So whatever you're going through, remember, God exists and God knows why. God sees, God hears, and God is able. So trust him. Trust him with your lives. Trust him with your fears. Trust him with your worries. God is in control. It is him who created the heavens and the earth. So let me now invite us to a time of prayer, even as we come to, to the end of this message. So let us pray together. Heavenly Father, I pray that you may speak to our situations, that, Father, you may speak to our hearts, to our minds, and I pray that even as we go through life and maybe ask ourselves uh, questions about your existence, about your abilities, Lord, remind us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And that means the Lord, you're in control, that you hear, that you know, that you see, and most importantly, Lord, that you are able. So, Lord, I pray that you may help us to put our hope and our trust in you through every season and through every situation in our lives. And may this message encourage us now and as we journey through life. So we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm.